Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Christopher. And I'm Connor. And we are the Minty Hip Bros. Uh, we kind of made the last video on our channel on a whim without any kind of planning, obviously, because we didn't even know what our channel was going to be called at that time. But we were going to make this video as sort of an introduction to us. Uh, basically, our channel is going to be dedicated to the, the brighter, more fun side of nerds. And kind of, we kind of want to give us a give us nerds a good name. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of uh, give us a little introduction about each one of us. Um, the one on the right there in that beautiful Photoshop picture. I just love this picture. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the awesome Photoshop job we did. This is not you. This is not you. Anyways, but the one on the right is me. I'm what? Um, the one on the right there is me. My name's Christopher. I'm, I'm the older brother, and uh, that picture of me just pretty much sums me up. Um, I wear the hat, that hat, that beanie that I'm wearing. You can ask any of my friends. I literally wear that hat 24/7. I don't know why. It's just kind of like a habit of mine now. Um, I like to consider myself. Don't whisper in my ear because you distract me and make me stop. No. Um, but I like to consider myself a hipster nerd because I kind of, I don't like the big mainstream games like Call of Duty. I, I honestly cannot stand Call of Duty. Um, so in our channel, we're not going for Call of Duty or anything like that. We're going to go for the more fun. We're probably going to be doing a bunch of GameCube games and Flash games mostly. It's fun anime. Um... And also, I like to consider myself a hipster nerd because of my amazing hipster glasses. I was a hipster before hipsters were hipster. Hipsterception. I must go deeper. I was a hipster before hipsters who were hipsters before hipsters were hipster. <laughs> I came up with that all on my own, by the way. So I'm going to pass off the mic to Connor here. Hello, uh, I'm Connor. Uh, for the record, I'm not a girl. I am a boy. Hair. Beautiful hair, it's my soul. Um, well, I, well, I play Halo, I guess. I don't really go for Call of Duty that much anymore. Call of Duty 4, I guess I'll go for Call of Duty 4. Yeah, Call of Duty 4 was the best Call of Duty. They ruined it with Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. And Black Ops 2. But, um... <clears throat> Um, so, uh, like I said, I'll play Halo if, like, my friends are on to play with me, but otherwise, I'll just sit on the computer and play MMOs all day, because that's pretty much all I like to do. He burns hours a day playing Maple Story and Rumble Fighter. And Dungeon Fighter Online. And Dungeon Fighter Online. And Windslayer. And Windslayer. And Latale. Ha 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 ha. And we're not rune fags. Uh, I heard that RuneScape had to be downloaded. Whatever, I don't know. RuneScape, I don't, I don't particularly like RuneScape. People say that once you get to a really high level, it gets more fun. But that's how everything is. Well, not necessarily. I mean, with Rumble Fighter, like you don't have to be a high level in order to just go out and kill people. But RuneScape, in order, in order to get your high, higher level, you have to just kill chickens and cows all day. Hey, no, no. And quests. I'm the only one who would kill chickens. I would sit there. I'm level 42. And I would sit there and kill chickens all day long. Is that all you did? Yes. And then, like, I don't know, like, occasionally I'd kind of jump over the fence and walk over and kill a mugger or two. But then other than that, I just kind of stick around and kill chickens all day long. Okay, we're, we're getting way off topic here. Um... Okay, but yeah, so pretty much my favorite game system is GameCube, would you agree? Same thing here. Yes, GameCube was amazing. It was uh, just like, it was kind of our first game system that we really, really like kind of got to ourselves and uh, got our own games for and played by ourselves. We had a uh, original Xbox and a PS2 before that, but our dad would usually buy us games um, and he would usually play with us. But when we got our GameCube as a gift for Christmas, we we really like you know. Oh, I want to get this game. And then we I were wanna, attached to it. Yeah, we we want to get this game and this game and this game and this game. 
and we like really tried hard to you know get good at those games. So Wind Waker, Zelda, The Wind Waker, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Naruto Clash of Ninja Two, Naruto Clash of Ninja Two, all time favorite game. It is Connor's all time favorite. I I'm really bad at picking favorites, but it really is an amazing game in my opinion. Um, what else do we have? Um. Pikmin 2. Well, we never actually owned Pikmin 1, but I did play it a lot at my cousin's house. You beat it. No, I didn't beat it. I got to the last level, but I was missing one part in order to beat it. Yeah, you had no idea. I remember there was like some kind of ledge you had to get up. Well, it was stupid because there are some there are a lot of parts in that game that you don't need in order to beat the game, like the comfort chair thing. And there were two parts I could take, the big chair or like the battery, and I chose to take the chair. And I needed the battery, but I didn't need the chair, so I ended up losing. <laughs> but yeah, um, but we also enjoy um, some other games. Uh, for PS2, we like uh, Kingdom Hearts series. Those were always obviously really good. Magic Pendul. Magic Pendul. Oh boy, we're going to have to upload footage of that. You, you realize that. Uh, Magic Pendul, look it up. Same thing for Graffiti Kingdom. It's pretty much the same concept. Um... Magic Pendulum is kind of a game where you like draw your own monsters, and it's kind of like Pokemon in a way. And you kind of level up your drawing skill, and you can draw more and more parts for your monsters. And you just kind of go out and fight, kind of rock paper scissors style. Uh, it's really fun though. And then Graffiti Kingdom is similar. You draw your own monster, but it's a platformer adventure game. Yeah, like open world. You 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 don't run around when you touch something. Like you go into a different battle, like Final Fantasy kind of. It's not. No, no, it's it's a platformer. Um. Um. Uh, There's a few other games for PS2 that we really enjoyed. Um, and then for the original Xbox. Uh. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes, of course, obviously. Oh, and for GameCube, we like Sonic Adventure. We we spent a lot of time playing Sonic Adventure One Director's Cut. Um, Xbox, um, Jet Set Radio Future. Jet Set Radio Future. Ooh, boy. We're going to have to upload footage of that as well. Um, what else was there? Spider-Man 2. That was a really fun one. I know, it's that's one that we always forget about, but it's it was really, really good. It was probably, it's probably the best, um, free-roaming game I've ever played. Um, but yeah, as for the classic game systems, that's pretty much what we enjoyed playing. And that's what our channel is all about: is just the fun games that the games that time forgot, and like the games that were kind of ruined by today's mainstreamness. Because like Super Smash Brothers Brawl, it, it's really good. It definitely is really good, but it's not the same as Melee. You know what I mean? Um, the the same way that Modern Warfare Two ruined Call of Duty Four. Super Smash Brothers Brawl kind of brought down Melee a bit. I say it enhanced it. Well, I don't know. It 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 may, it's different. It was different because we spent a lot of time on Melee, but not a lot of time on Brawl. It's just Melee is the classic. It came out first. We got a lot of time on that, and then Brawl kind of it dulled it down a bit. It definitely has a lot more features. Uh, as as far as the amount of characters and stuff and features, it was a lot better. But the gameplay wasn't as exciting, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we spent more time on Brawl, though. We had, like, 260 hours or something on there. I don't know. Um. Oh, Kirby Air Ride for the GameCube. We're going to be doing that, too. We've been playing that lately. Played that, like, two hours ago. Yeah, Um. that's a really fun one. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much... We, we kind of... <laughs> forgive us if we're ranting, but that's kind of what our channel's about. Is just ranting about kind of video games, doing commentaries, just talking about games. We're gonna probably have lists of our favorite games in more detail um, later on in our uh, in our channel's progression, and then eventually we'll have some let's plays once we gotten the small videos out of the way, and we get more time. Um. So yeah, comment like subscribe if you have any suggestions about any kind of game you want us to you want to see us play or any anime you want us to watch just tell us in the comments give us ideas we can use them um if if you give us any kind of game for nintendo 64 playstation 1 uh game boy advance 
we can play those on emulators and we can get pretty much any game. So if it's for N64, PS1, or Game Boy Advance, give us any game and we can review it and kind of talk about it a little bit and give, a, and give you kind of a let's play. We need to wrap this up because um, we're at like yeah, the 10 yeah, minute yeah. mark. Um, we're hitting the 10 minute mark, so we should wrap it up soon. Um, so yeah, expect to see more videos of us in the future. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.